Hi all, it's Cindy from Cindy's Art. I list the materials that I use for this video down below in the description. Today we're painting lemons and I used a very small like three by four size piece of paper, sketched out my lemons and then I used a stick in order to apply my masking fluid. The masking fluid is going to protect the white parts of your painting while you're going ahead and just adding in your yellow for your lemons. We're gonna keep this really easy today. Wet around the rind of the lemon and the inside of it. And then we're going to add in the Cerulean and Gamboji yellows in order to start this lemon off. We're just keeping it very simple today. We're gonna to get getting complex with our colors. The darker yellow is the Gamboji. The lighter one is the Aurelion. The centers of the lemon and then a little bit around the outside of the rind, there's this darker yellow. I used yellow ochre and I dropped it in there just a tiny bit. Then I added a little bit of yellow ochre around the outside part of that rind and all of that lemon was wet while I did it. Now I'm gonna wet down the lemon on the left hand side and I'm going to repeat the same process but I'm adding a little bit more darker yellow together and one way you could do that a few drops of yellow ochre along with your gamboji and it's going to help deepen that yellow they're not the same color so when you look at the reference photo you're going to see that so just go ahead and lay that down then we're going to let that dry Now I let the background dry until I could take the back of my hand, put it down on my paper, and it was not cool. It was just like a regular temperature. If it's cool, it's wet. Then I took my brush and I wet down around the lemons. I did not let my water get on those lemons. And that's because if I did, it would have gone over on top of my yellow paint and it may have created green but it definitely would add a blue tone into these lemons and I listed my colors and here I'm using a little bit of the permanent violet to add in some shadows so when you think of shadows don't think of gray think of other colors that are inside of shadows and today I used that permanent violet as an example of that I purchased this rubber eraser it's a cement rubber eraser I purchased it from Cheap Joe's and then when I uh, finished cleaning it off my paper I went ahead and started to add in more yellow but I'm adding a tiny bit darker just around some of these parts around the white that is showing whenever you look at a lemon in a light you're gonna see some white flecks and that's what I'm protecting right now. And I'm adding yellows around the rind. I want to define it a little bit. So here's a little bit of yellow ochre. I can add a tiny bit of neutral with this yellow ochre and it'll help me get a little bit more definition. At this point, all I'm doing is working to add in a little bit of detail where I can call this painting done. And I'm asking myself, can you see the shape? Do I want to outline that seed a tiny bit? Yes, of course, because I have a lot of fun at this stage in my painting. So I used a little bit of the permanent orange yellow and a little bit of neutral and a more yellow, more of the Aurelion, mix them together and I got shadows for the area on the left with my lemon. I added in some of that orange lightly into it and I'll create this beautiful shadow that's on the left lemon. So I touch in my colors and I just see, okay, how does it compare to my reference photo? That's why I'm showing you the reference photo. 
and I'll just ask myself, okay, is it good? I don't need to paint all the details. I just need to make sure this thing looks enough like a lemon. And the great part about watercolor and art is it's interpretive. You don't need to paint a photo, just enjoy it. I'm gonna work dry on dry now using a little tiny bit more of my neutral mixed in with like a gambo, uh, gamboji. And I'm going to finish off details of the orange just to define it a little bit more and add a little bit more shading in. And then I'm going to use a little bit of white gouache and I'm going to highlight those lights that are on the slices. I just wanted to emphasize them a little bit more. I had a lot of fun with this. Have fun with it, play around. And I want to thank you for joining me today. If you would like to see when I'm coming out with more videos, be sure to hit the bell below and subscribe to the channel and smash that like button if you enjoyed it. Tell me what else that you would like us to cover and learn right now. So this painting is coming to an end. Thank you so much for joining with me. And thank you to all my friends in Indonesia, India, Germany, France, I am so amazed by how many people are tuning into this channel and it is so nice to be a part of a family on YouTube, the watercolor family. All right, guys, take care and we'll see you next time.